like Jenny's doll. Little quest there. Okay, we're, we're tree climbing. That's something new. I don't think I've ever tr climbed a tree in a MMO before. And there's the dog, I think. Take the doll. Report to Recon Captain Click. Report to Monolith Ghost. Okay. And we've still got to report to Marion yet. Finish this off. Let's... You learn a new skill set. Two skill points. Right. Weapon increases melee attack five percent, and this is passive. We'll take that, definitely. That requires four plus points. Spent. Pulls and towards a distant enemy. That's a good one for a tank, I suppose. Can we take that? No. How about that one? Got one skill point. Oh, that requires battle rage level 10. Battle rage level 20. Oh, right, okay. I um, wonder if that means I can. What's, what's Horomancy? Select a skill. Defense. Ah! Okay. Shield slam. I don't think we'll have some of that. Right, okay, so I've got two skill sets now. Does that mean... Yes, it automatically goes to the goes to the bar, which is what I wanted. All right, now can we can you drag and drop these? I'm not going to use range very often, I don't think. I might use it occasionally. All right, that's the auto auto uh, attack. A charge, we'll have that there. Not the. Shield slam there and that one there. Okay, it makes a bit more sense to me. Let's see if that works. Let's try it on you, shall we? Ah, uh, seems a bit more like it. What's this? The priestess of Nui. 
Hello. Monolith Ghost. I can see you. Collect Vopal's bloody token. Right, that's from these, I take it. Whoops. Sorry, love. Whoops. Put it into you then. Right. Nice. Oh, sorry. Very nice. I like that shield slam, I must admit. That reminds me, you ever... ever so slightly of... Uh, Aeon. That's what Aeon was it, you used, used to use the, the shield slam. to be getting any tokens here. Am I doing this right? What's that? Are quite nice as well, must admit. What do you guys think? Don't forget, if you want to leave me any messages, please do. Tell me what you think of the game. Hmm, I don't seem to be getting any bloody tokens here somehow. here. Maybe I should read the, I should read the quest, eh? <laughs> Whoops, tree. Cancel, not going to root that. A lackey, ah, okay. Like I said, I should really read the quest, I suppose. That's better. And complete. Definitely contact with all these um, NPCs, unlike some where you run through NPCs that you're not uh, targeting. These you can't run through.
Right. Possess the power to guide the spirits of this place into the hereafter. Throw it at one of the nearest ghosts and the spirit will find peace and return to me. Okay. That's fair enough. up this hill again. Again? We haven't been up here in the first place, have we? <laughs> Never mind. What's that? Mirage Leomorph. What's that? Why is his pet? Nice. Eighty-four point ninety-eight percent. Is that the well, that must be the uh, percentage into experience. Yes, it is. Well, that's a nice little touch. To show you in big letters like that. For an old man like me that can't see very far. What's this? Signpost. Accept. Kill Violent Monolith Guardian. Do these look a different red colour? Does that mean that these are aggro? HP than I thought before. I'm liking this game so far. I think we might have to. Uh... Oh, what's that? Charge upgraded to rank 2. Nice. So your skills level up as you use them, I take it. in this direction. It's a shame really that this uh, bait is only on for the weekend. Otherwise I could give you a lot more coverage. Well since I, it took me I didn't check the mail until the day after I got the uh, the OK to come in, so I found out a day late. So I downloaded it on the Friday. This today is the Saturday, so it's the first day really I've done any recording. What's that? A firefly sting. That's what they called the birthmark on your arm when you were a child. But occasionally, it would flare up, producing its own light and you saw the worried looks it got. Its bizarrely regular shape would gleam on your skin like a torch. You'd never met anyone else with one. You'd never even heard about anyone else with one. The land of your birth was filled with legends. The library expedition. The twelve adventurers who had found the birthplace of the world. The resulting exodus from Auroria, 
the northern continent. The settling of what is now Nubia. But in all the legends, there is no mention of anyone with a gold rune-like mark on their arm. It was a perfect anomaly. Hmm, okay. Gilda Star required, what's that? An ancient coin made of pure gold and minted in Aurora centuries ago. They are the rarest and most valuable coals still in circulation and can purchase the most important quality goods such as a house and workbench designs sold on Mirage Isle. Oh, okay. Use the engraved lodestone near Marion. When Marion caused the golden mark to flare on your arm, your muscles trembled. Memories flashed dizzingly before your eyes. It was easy to assume they were your own life, but you soon saw grand cities unlike anything on New Year. It was as though you were looking out through someone else's eyes. As that person purchased fish in a marketplace, a mirror in a nearby booth reflected her face. A chestnut-haired young woman with milky skin and the refined features of a noble. The memory vanished as quickly as it had begun, leaving you unsteady. You wondered if Marion had caused you to see it, but she betrayed no knowledge of it. You'd always heard that when they died during the destruction of Auroria, the members of the library expedition pass their memories to the survivors of their races. Although time had faded those memories, some especially skilled individuals could recall them. Because the Aurorans passed through the hereafter on the way to safety during the exodus, it was said that the goddess Nui's memories could be felt especially strongly. Before the journey had transformed her to the goddess Nui. She had been a charity-minded noblewoman named Diana. Your golden mark burned. Another memory appeared. A charming hooded vagrant begging for food. Okay, so the plot thickens. Make a monolith rubbing at the West Monolith. Oh, that's that way. I'll take this quest first, though. Oh, this is sending me there as well, by the look of it. Divine intervention. Examine the body. Both in this direction. So I mean the body or a body. The more Marion spoke of Lucius, which she did often, crediting him with the carnage you saw, the more memories seemed to fill your head. It was clear they were Rihanna's. She apparently used her family's wealth to run a soup kitchen for the city's poor. You saw the smiling vagrant begging for food from the soup kitchen every day. And heard Rihanna eventually chastise him for being able-bodied but relying on charity. With a laugh, he handed her two tickets to a play in a local theater. As more memories flashed, 
you shared Iana's realization that this man was Lucius Quinto, a famous playwright. Could this be Merrin's Lucius? What kind of playwright could commit such carnage? Especially one who seems so charming. Hmm. I think I've got to take a rubbing of this, yes. Okay, very interesting. Carnivorous bees. I'm supposed to be down here or not, but let's find out. I won't kill them yet, because we probably need those for a quest. If that's standard MMO stuff. This red music reminds me of something as well. What is it? There we go, carnivorous bees. Not of a hundred? You kidding me? Twenty of a hundred, right, that makes a bit more sense then. <laughs> Forty of a hundred, right. That shift one again. Dash. Oh, okay. It's possible to turn in a quest even without finishing all of its objectives. You'll still be paid for it, but will receive a smaller experience reward. Um, why would you do that? Curious. Why would you turn in a quest early? To get reduced experience. Hmm. Not quite sure about why you do that, but... Looks like my health's getting a <laughs> bit of a hit here. Ow! Eight of a hundred. 
All right. There we go. Easy enough. I'll go and turn this one in. Look inside a model home. I take it that means we're going up here, does it? to me. So we'll head down to our last quest. Oh, look at that. Tree person. Whee! <laughs> oh dear. That's pretty cool, that. Gets you there quicker. With no mount. a frequent topic of conversation in Souls Reap for years. They were known as a secretive association of assassins with dealings at all levels of society. The group's motives were shrouded in mystery. But rumors spoke of religious fanaticism and a plot to rule the Crescent Throne. Blamed for a spate of kidnappings, they became the region's boogeymen. A reason for children to fear the dark, and for parents to secure their homes at nightfall. Of course, these everyday phobias belied the true horror of the organization. They had allegedly assassinated the last king, and had grown very dangerous and powerful. You wondered if they'd had any historical precedent in Yana's time. However, her memories held no mention of these dark assassins, or their trademark crimson gloves. Oh, level 7. Report to General Govanon. Another quest here. Ch 
Chop down sturdy trees to collect sturdy logs. Alright, I'll give it a shot, eh? Take it, these are sturdy trees. Yes. Simple enough. Would be nice to get a reward other than health portions at the moment, but I'm not quite sure, not 100% certain anyway, but I think all the equipment that you pick up you make, I think it's all crafted, all the armour. Right, what's this, what's this stable info board? Land meant for raising mounts, oh, all right, okay. Do I have a mount to raise? Looks like some people do. 